so hello Anya. Assalamualaikum everyone. Alright, so in this video, uh, we are going to take a look on how we can solve this question from Basya chapter 4, which is question number 36. Okay, so let's take a look at the first part. Okay, dulu. So, soalan ni dia ada banyak, dia ada banyak uh, pecahan dia. So, we have A, B, C and also D. Okay, let's go through one by one. Okay, so the first part, is the, the A part is find the determinant of matrix A. So, as simple as determinant of A. Okay, so jom kita cari. Okay, so determinant of A. Okay, so kat sini kalau kita tengok, there is no zero, tak ada kosong pun kat dalam matrix ni. Okay, so you just choose any row or any column that you like. Okay, so I'm going to choose the first column. Okay, so letak dua kat depan. Okay, and then jangan lupa dia ada plus actually. Okay, so barulah ada the coefficient which is to the element. Okay, so kita akan delete this column and this row. So, kita tinggal 5, 4, 1, 4. And then you minus Minus with the second element So second element kita is 1 Okay so minus 1 And then determinant of what's left After we delete this column and this row So 2, 3, 1, 4 2, 3, 1, 4 Okay I move this one a bit to the right Okay and then lastly Kita akan tambahkan dengan The last element is 4 Okay last element is 4 and then we delete this column and this row. We are going to have 2, 3, 5, 4. Okay, so jump. Let's solve this one. Okay, so 2, tak ada kat depan. Okay, so 5 times 4 is 20. So we have 20. And then 4 times 1 is 4. So 20 minus 4. Okay, and then minus kan dengan 1. So 1 tak perlu tulis pun. Okay, and then 2 times 4 is 8. And then 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, and the process uh, in the between is negative, minus. Okay, and then plus with 4. Okay, so 2 times 4 is 8. And then minus 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, so what we have here is 2 times 16. And then 8 minus 3 is 5. So we have 5 over here. And then we have 4, 15, 15, 15, 15, 7, negative 7. Okay, so simplifying this one, we have 6. Okay, this is your determinant. Okay, settle into this one. Okay, so let's take a look at the second part. So this is part A. Okay, and then part B. So, tulis dia dekat atas. This one. Okay, so part B. So, alam minta kita cari. Minor. You need to find minor. And then you need to find cofactor. And then you need to find add join. Okay, so sebenarnya soalan ni dia nak awak cari add join je. Okay, so add join dia punya formula adalah cofactor yang ditransposkan. Okay, so tapi daripada cofactor ni sebenarnya awak kena cari dulu minor. Lepas tu barulah awak tambah dengan tolak tambah tu. Okay, tapi soalan ni dia dah bagi awak guidance satu-satu. So awak cari minor dulu. Okay, lepas dah cari minor, cari cofactor and then baru boleh dapat add join. Okay, so jom kita cari step satu ni dulu. Okay, so minor first. Okay, so minor kita akan buat satu bracket yang besar. So let me do the big bracket first. Okay. And then it's going to have nine element inside with this determinant punya symbol. This one, number two, this three. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this one. Copy. And paste it. Okay, and then paste another one over here. Okay, that is all your element in your minor. Okay, tutup bracket. Okay, so untuk this one, you don't have to put the minus plus sign. Sebab apa? Sebab ini adalah minor. Yang plus minus sign tu, dia akan ada dekat cofactor nanti. Eh, is it cofactor? Yes. Dia akan ada dekat cofactor nanti. Okay, so untuk minor, biar je dulu tanpa the plus minus sign. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so kita akan simplify. Kita akan buangkan dia punya row and also column. So for the first one, we delete this one and this one. Awak akan dapat 5, 4, 1, 4. Okay, and then the next, awak akan dapat. So, delete this one dengan this one. 1, 4, 3, 4. 1, 4, 3, 4. Okay. With this one and this one, we're going to have 1, 5, 3, 1. 
minus, sorry. Oh, akan dapat 16 minus 8 minus 14. And then 5, negative 1, negative 4, negative 7, 5, and 8. Okay, so this is your minor. Okay, what about cofactor pula? So, untuk cofactor, awak just tambahkan je the sign. Okay, so daripada kat atas tadi, kita tambah positif kat sini, negatif dekat sini. This one is positive, this one is negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay, so awak punya cofactor is 16, 8, negative 14, 14, then negative 5, minus 1, positive 4, negative 7, negative 5, and lastly is 8. Okay, this is your factor. Okay, so lastly, alright, so kita akan cari adjoint matrix. So, adjoint matrix is equal to cofactor being transposed. Okay, so kita transposekan cofactor matrix kita. Awak akan dapat 16, 8, negative 14, and then negative 5, negative 1, 4, and then negative 7, negative 5, and 8. Okay, settle. This is your adjoint matrix. Okay, so kita dah siap the first part and the second part. Okay, so let's continue to the third and fourth part. Okay, kat bawah ni. Okay, so soalan yang C, dia bagi kita satu equation. So we have this equation. Okay, so adjoint A darab adjoint sama dengan determinant darab identity. Okay, so soalan minta kita show kan A inverse is equal to this one. Okay, we need to show this one. Okay, so let's start dengan apa yang kita ada dulu, the original equation that we have. So, Kerasan give us A times adjoint A. Is equal to determinant times identity. Okay, so to have inverse matrix in our equation, so awak kena darabkan this equation that you have with A inverse. Okay, so kita akan darabkan both sides with A inverse. A inverse. Okay, so yang kat, yang ini saya akan letak A inverse tu dekat belah kiri. So, I'm going to put the A inverse over here and over here. Okay, so saya akan dapat A inverse darabkan dengan A darabkan dengan adjoint of A is equal to A inverse determinant A darab identity. Okay, so kat depan ni, this one dia akan dapat identity sebab inverse darab dengan matrix tu. Okay, so awak akan dapat identity over there. So, identity times adjoint A, okay, which is equal to, okay, so dekat sini, kita fokus. Alright, so this is just a constant. Okay, so bila dia constant, awak boleh bawa dia pergi depan. Okay, so awak akan dapat dekat situ is determinant of A times A inverse I. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, simplify more this one. So, identity darab any matrix, you will get that matrix. So, adjoint A is equal to, then determinant. Okay, A inverse darab I adalah A inverse. Okay, so soalan nak kita jadikan A inverse sebagai subjek. Okay, so just bring this one to the left hand side. So, awak akan dapat 1 over A times adjoint of A is equal to A inverse shown. Ding. Okay, so last kali. Okay, so last part dia bagi kita tiga equation, linear equation ni. Okay, so soalan minta kita use A inverse in part C. Okay, use the A inverse in part C to solve the following simultaneous equations. Okay, so kita jadikan dulu kita punya linear equations dekat sini in the form of matrix. Okay, so dia akan ada satu matrix A. Okay, and then just put all the coefficient. So, for the first equation, our x is 2, y is 2, z is 3. Okay, and then for the second equation, kita ada 1, 5, 4. And then lastly, kita ada 3, 1, 4. Okay, dan tutup. Okay, and then dia akan didarapkan dengan satu matrix kita panggil matrix X, which is X, Y, Z. Okay, so masukkan semua variable yang awak ada, X, Y, Z, mengikut turutan yang betul. Okay, and then it is going to be equal to this one on the right. Okay, so awak akan dapat 49, then 74, lastly is 49 as well. Okay, so this is actually A, X equal to B. Okay, so soalan minta kita guna E inverse yang ada dekat previous part. Okay, so to have to make our equation right now, AX equal to B ni, ada E inverse, so kita kena wujudkanlah E inverse dulu. Okay, so darabkan uh, both sides with E inverse. 
So, awak akan dapat E inverse AX is equal to A inverse B. So, simplify this one, awak akan dapat identity. This is going to be identity. Okay, so identity darab matrix X, awak dapat X is equal to A inverse A inverse B. Okay, so just masukkan saja awak punya A inverse dan juga B. Okay, so A inverse kita tahu dekat previous part. Okay, so A inverse we already know that it is equal to this one. Okay, so masukkan apa yang awak dah cari dekat sini dan dekat sini from the previous previous part. Okay, so kita akan dapat A inverse is 1 over determinant. So what is our determinant? Determinant is 6. Okay, and then matrix adjoint kita is that one. So I'm just going to copy down this one. So copy and paste it over here. Okay, and then kita darabkan dia dengan matrix B. So matrix B is 49. 74 and 49. Okay, so bila awak kira-kira-kira, awak akan dapat jawapan. Okay, bila awak kira-kira-kira. These are going to be your answer. Okay, so this is these are your answer for x, y, z. Okay, so you need to rewrite balik. Okay, sebab soalan minta solve. So, bila soalan minta solve, maksudnya awak kena state what is x, what is y, what is z. Although, you already know this is x, this is y, and this is z. Tapi, awak tak boleh biarkan jawapan akhir awak dalam bentuk ni. Awak kena restate. Okay, so x is equal to 71 over 6. Y is equal to 73 over 6. And then, z is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, I think that's all in this video. Bye-bye. See you.